All right, so now with all of us staying in the house and not being able to get out of the house, I've been spending a lot of time testing a lot of products, a lot of speakers, uh, subwoofers, um, the processors that I've gotten in the house as well. And I'm gonna say like these are my top picks for surround sound. Not so much 4K video quality, but for surround sound lately that I've been using to demo my audio equipment. Um, I know I did a video recently about my best Atmos picks, but as of right now, this is what I like to use to test out speakers and subwoofers and, and, the, whole, um, and the whole surround sound experience. And listen, anybody that likes to follow the channel knows my number one pick for surround. I hate to be like number one pick, but uh, if there is a movie that is very dynamic, not the most loud and bombastic, would have to be A Quiet Place. So Quiet Place is one of my top picks for surround sound. Because, listen, most movies that a lot of people talk about, it it's usually big action movies, you know, they, everybody likes to talk about like John Wick or Godzilla, yada yada. But I really feel that A Quiet Place is one of my best ones that I listen to because not only is there a lot of good atmospherics, because it can kind of start off with just everything just filling your atmosphere. It can make you feel like you're inside the house with these characters. And it can also make you feel like you're outside of the house with these characters you can hear ambiance like wind wind blowing you hear birds chirping and when you're inside the house you can hear the interior of the house um you can hear stuff going on outside when you're in the house you know that that, that slight echo uh people moving around dishes and stuff like that or the kids moving uh on the floor when they're laying down so very nice very actually excellent audio representation of the environment that you're in in a quiet place and obviously when the action picks up you know you can get loud abrupt pops of action that just uh can startle you because let's face it it's kind of like a horror movie as well so i think a uh, quiet place is a, a very is an excellent movie to test out not only like receivers and processors your speakers your subwoofers i think it's like an all-around mix if you want to test out how good the noise floor is if you can listen to a movie listen to this movie and it's quiet you don't hear any humming or buzzing coming from the amps the internal amps on a receiver or on external amps i find a quiet place is great for that you want to have a nice quiet noise floor um not only in your room but from the equipment itself and I think that movie is a great choice for everything from quiet ambiance to loud dynamic peaks. So that'd be like, that'd probably one of my, maybe my number one pick for, for audio, for great demo material. And it's a good movie too. And I think it's a good movie. Um, so we're going to go with a quiet place there. So let's talk about, uh, Let's talk about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This is just like straight up bombastic subwoofer blasting bass. You can't go wrong with this. If you got some big ass speakers, uh, I know we got some Klipsch fans in the audience here. That's some movie as well where it's going to play loud like a rock concert. Amazing bass if we're talking about the opening credits where Godzilla's fighting the Muto. I think it's the Muto. Um, and the, the the smaller characters, the human characters, are looking up at Godzilla. And they're just kind of like rummaging through town. Insane amount of bass. Um, overhead effects as well. Just crazy, crazy overhead effects. I think I've seen, I've actually seen some videos where they were like, Godzilla does not have any overhead effects, which I thought was ridiculous. Uh, there is a bunch of overhead effects in Godzilla, especially towards uh, the last act when he's fighting 
uh, what is his name? Rodan. Crazy shit. Uh, check that out. I mean, we're talking about Infrasonics as well. When he's, I always, I always use this demo in a lot of my subwoofer reviews lately, because when he's coming through Boston the first time in uh, Eleven, is standing there looking up at him, and she's like smiling because Godzilla is coming to save the day. Um, you can hear him coming closer. It's like a Jurassic Park effect, where you can hear him coming before he actually shows up on screen. Get it just for that as well. That ten out of ten for Atmos. That's my num- that'd be like my number two pick for surround sound demos. And then of course we're gonna have to go Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Blade Runner twenty forty nine is a movie that starts off rolling credits, builds up to a massive crescendo of like a big 35 hertz peak 38 hertz peak um, with the big eyeball and then you get the nice overhead of Ryan Gosling's uh, spacecraft or flying vehicle that shoots overhead and to, to test your surround sound and your subwoofers if your teeth are not rattling at the beginning of Blade Runner 2049 and you cannot hear Ryan Gosling flying from the back speakers, lower side surrounds, and also the overhead speakers, then your processor or receiver is not really doing that fantastic job of it. That as well. And also, the part where they're in the dam, the dam is some crazy bass with those gunshots and the music. The music in this movie is just like crazy i don't don't want to be like so much effects but the music itself the musical score is like the standout in blade runner 2049 so pick that up for the audibles as well of course my one of my go-to's from last year power rangers again opening chapter where zordon is on the ground and you hear the spacecraft flying overhead and it rumbles everything it rumbles the ground you hear some dirt and debris kind of fluttering between the uh, front channel speakers and then you get the feeling that you're inside zordon's helmet and then as it the ship flies over it takes you out of the helmet a la gravity effects the movie gravity i'm talking about here if you guys don't know what i'm talking about you get that same feeling it's like the in your helmet feel and then it takes you out of the helmet killer soundtrack as well and then chapter two chapter two there's the part when the boys escape the the locker room with the i don't know what is it cow yeah with the cow no with the bull (laughs) the locker room with the bull and then they hit the car and they spin around when they spin around in chapter two it's either cha- I think it's chapter one or two. They spin around and you can hear the, another cow. You can hear the cow mooing 360 degrees a la Twister. This time it's in Power Rangers. Then, of course, we're going to talk about how good the battle scene in the third act is with all the, uh, with all the Zords and the tremendous amount of bass when the uh, the megazord comes out of the ground and all the fire and flames hdr demo worthy material there as well power rangers maybe not the best movie audibly one of the best movies just for sheer atmos surround sound effects and then let's talk and then of course of course edge of tomorrow intro this is really only a really fantastic part of Edge of Tomorrow, which is the first like six seconds of the movie, which we're talking about um, a huge like 10 hertz sine wave in the first five seconds. If you want to test out your subwoofers and see if they're going to blow up, Edge of Tomorrow at the beginning, do that. Just crank it up. I'm going to say crank it up like 10 dB normal than what you would normally listen to your movies. And if your subwoofers survive or... If you can feel, if you can feel towards the last half of that five, six seconds, if you can feel it in your body, your subwoofers are doing a magnificent job. If you can feel it in your body and not hear it, 
your subwoofers are doing a magnificent job. Not many subwoofers can do it. Some subwoofers, during the end of that clip, some subwoofers will just just kind of shut off. You don't even know anything's happening. So that means your the the protection circuitry is doing a really good jo job in that subwoofer from helping it to explode. But if your subwoofers can create that infrasonic feel in the beginning of Edge of Tomorrow, then uh, that is something you got to try it out as well. And then we're then my next pick is a movie that I think is going to come out very soon, if not in a couple next week or so. It's going to be the War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds has been a go-to favorite of mine for many many years and i've blown up one svs subwoofer on war of the worlds during the lightning scene not really the lightning scene but it's when the aliens shoot down from the ground when tom cruise and dakota fanning is in the backyard when they're shooting down those lightning bolts into the ground those lightning hits just bomb 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 there's a uh, infrasonics there there's just like crazy like mid-range bass that just like smashes your woofers. Uh, if your subwoofers cannot handle that scene, there's a good chance you're going to blow your subwoofers. And it's one of those scenes that sh you know it's coming up. You're going to crank up the volume. You might already have the volume cranked up loud. And it just like out of the blue, you don't know. You don't know this whole lightning shit's going to happen. Like, I didn't know. And then all of a sudden, my SVS subwoofer just kind of blew up. I just heard a pop. That's what happens. War of the Worlds, it, when it comes out in Dolby Atmos, I think in the next month or so, that's going to be another uh, That's going to be another standout mix. That's not even out yet. I don't even know what I'm talking about, it, but I feel that is a movie, when it comes out, it's going to be a subwoofer wrecker. Fingers crossed for that. But those are my picks. What I have been rewatching since I've been in the house doing nothing except making some videos. What are your guys' picks for your best surround sound demos during this whole pandemic and your lockdown? Like, uh, let me know. Leave some, leave some suggestions. What should I watch? What are your suggestions? What should I watch? Let the people know in the community to test out your your surround sound and your subwoofers. We're talking about Atmos effects, DTSX effects, and subwoofer. Let us know in the comments. Let us know.